Are you ready for Christmas? Today I'm going to share with you how to make a plaid snowman and show you my tips for painting plaid. So click the link down in the description to get the full supply list over on my blog. So I'm using a Walnut Hollow rustic palette in the shape of a snowman it's super cute and i'm just going to paint the whole thing with a coat of white acrylic paint now it's very rough um you can sand it if you want ahead of time but you don't have to so the next step is to tape off some stripes and you can just use masking tape and you can measure it if you want to be more exact i just kind of eyeballed it and taped off different widths of stripes that i thought that i would want for my plaid so what makes plaid work is if it has thin and wide, you know, a variety of thin and wide um, stripes. So once you have your stripes taped off, now you're going to mix your paint. And I'm using some Deco Art Fluid Acrylics, um, and I've watered it. First, I've mixed some of the colors together. So I mixed the gray and the white to give it a little bit of a lighter gray color. And then I watered it down. And that's what's going to make the plaid pattern work you don't want to paint with just solid colors because the stripes underneath won't show and so the part that makes plaid plaid is where the intersection of the two uh, sets of stripes are at so you're going to water down whatever paint you're using and then paint it on now because the paint is watery and the wood is rough some of the paint's going to seep through like you can see on that red line in the middle you can paint over that or you can sand it off and i'm going to sand it off so now you're going to paint your stripes going the opposite direction and use the same colors of paint to paint stripes going perpendicular to your previous stripes. Now again, make sure you water it down. And I did this while the previous paint stripes were a little bit damp still. So you can notice that I'm being pretty careful when I'm painting the gray because it's blending with the red. But that's going to make it look more plaid because I've got that blending and overlapping going on. But it's not opaque stripes. So once that's all dry, hit it with the sander to give it a little bit of a distressed look and you're all done. It's ready to display. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Click the link down in the description to go to my blog because we're doing a blog hop with an amazing giveaway that you absolutely will not want to miss out on. Plus, click the button here to subscribe if you want to get more of our DIY tutorial videos. We publish videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I know today's Wednesday, so it's a little bit different this week, but every Tuesday and Thursday, new DIY videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!